Hi there, this is Bob. I got, uh, as you guys can hear, I got uh, Child Family Protection Services, and I've got some questions to ask them today. So let's hear this. Hi, yes, um, I have some concerns about what's happening to some kids. I was wondering uh, what should I do? Well, I know that these kids were getting smacked in the face with the front of the hand, back of the hand. I know that the kids are being thrown in a basement with no lights on and being locked in there and also being made to wear pissy clothes. Okay. And how many children are there? Uh, there is sometimes 11 kids there, sometimes there's three, four kids there. Okay, is this one family? It's a foster family. It's a foster family? Yes. Okay. So when you say sometimes there's 11 kids, is there 11 kids? Like how many kids live in the home? Well, it's a foster home. Sometimes they stick up to 10, 11 kids in there, and sometimes okay. they I don't have as many as up to four. How many kids are there currently? Um, I just believe that there is three. Three? Do you know how old they are? Um, a 14 year old and younger. Two younger ones than that. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you know the names of the foster parents? Um, the thing is, the name I'm not supposed to say. I'm just wondering if you guys are actually going to go for an investigation today or am I going to have to call in Monday and talk to a supervisor? Well, like, uh, we, I need a little bit more information first before I can sort of make that decision. I mean, if we have reason to believe that the kids are at risk today, then we'll go out today. Otherwise, it'll get written up and forwarded to the, the kids' individual workers and the workers will look into it. Okay, but my kids have made these complaints before and all that was done was just a phone call to the family. So, like, my kids were in care with this person, and they even reported the uh, abuse and stuff like that that happened to them, and so I'm just wondering mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Well, like I said, if I need more, that's why I need more information. If we have enough information to believe that the kids are at risk today, like right now, we'll go out today. Otherwise, we just forward it on to the, the individual workers of the kids, and then I can't speak to what's going to happen. That's up to each worker to sort of decide on that. But if there's concerns, I mean, they have to go out and see the kids. All right, then. Investigate the information. See, right there, again, if I would have told the name of the place, I would then they'd know who I am so that's why I didn't say the name and plus I've been already told that if anything is brought up against a foster parent that it just gets put to their supervisor their supervisor and everything else is just going to come phone them say did you do it they're going to say no the kids are liars uh, but to us parents we're told kids don't lie so how is it that if they're in their care, they're lying little kids, but if they're with other people, they're just perfect angels. They don't lie, they don't swear, they don't do anything wrong. They just make up fabricated stories that they're being abused or neglected or anything like that. So to everybody out there that has complaints and concerns about CFS, DRC, or any child protective service out there in Canada, in the States, any other country, if you want your story heard, I will have a site up right away where you can contact me. And all you player haters out there that want to say, I shouldn't do this, I should mind my own business, well, to all you, I'm just going to laugh at you for a little bit. Come after me, call me dirty names, try to take my kids away. But the thing is, I'll see you all in court. I'll laugh at you there, and I'll laugh after when you're locked up for the abuse that you've done to children, my children, and the children still in your guys' possession.